Well, hey everybody, this is Gretchen the Green Lady, and today I kind of have to cover a serious topic, but nonetheless very important. North Carolina, where I live, is about to experience a hurricane. We're not 100% sure, but I'm absolutely hoping that it brushes by or blows out to the ocean, but if not, there's a whole world of gardening that has to be taken care of. A whole world of plants, as you can see, that needs some love and attention. Lots of my little tchotchkes and containers and so on will not survive a hurricane. I'm going to walk through my natural area. So this is what I'm, the tips I want to give you. Make sure that you place all your container gardens, all your plants that are in containers, make sure that you put them in a safe place, uh, a garage, a shed. The next thing you have to make sure that you have them watered, make sure that they've been fertilized, depending on how long your storm lasts. Hurricanes typically only last a night. Once the storm starts, though, that could be a little lengthy, so you need to get them in ahead of time. Also, make sure that you're not putting um, plants together where one may have an infestation. I don't know any gardener that doesn't deal with that. I'm pretty darn good with mine, but every once in a while, like one gets away. As you can see, there's an arbor back there I have to take care of. Oh goodness, I have in my setting, see that little greenhouse back there I have to take care of. Uh, lots of tchotchkes and things to put away. Also, if you're going to, uh, when you put your plants together, make sure the place that they're in uh, is not too hot because I made the mistake one year, <clears throat> excuse me, of leaving them in a shed and it got just way too warm and I actually lost a few plants due to that. So check on your plants as soon as your storm is over. If you're going to put a plant or items in the same location that may have an insect, make sure you take perhaps a stake and then put a bag over the entire container, including the, the, the pot and the flower or plant, whatever it is, so that you're not uh, infesting other plants. And also when you're finished with that, um, you know, make sure any items in your yard will not be uh, dangerous if the wind can catch them so again, find places or corners that you can tuck those into. But our biggest concern right now is our plants. There will be some damage. I'm not sure if my little garden structure that my husband created for me will survive, but I'm gonna do my best. So think smarter, not harder. Make sure your plants are watered. Make sure they have fertilizer. Make sure they're in a protected location that's not too hot. If it's gonna be very warm, make sure you remove them as soon as the storm is over. And this has been Gretchen the Green Lady hoping I can tell you that the storm did not come to North Carolina and that all went well. But should it come, I want you to be prepared and I want to be prepared as well. And I hope that you will go green and be safe.